because over the weekend, you sent out a tweet talking about where the Fed needs to go with interest rates. And this is your world. I mean, far, far be it for me to get into a conversation with you about fixed income or God forbid, vol of fixed income. So I'm here to learn. But mm -hmm. you said that the Fed needs to go another 187 basis points above the 150 they've given us so far. How, how do you see them getting us there? So, so that's not, um, I really am glad that you asked that question because I probably should clarify it on Twitter. That's just what priced in. That's what the market is expecting the Fed to do. You can see that in, you know, if you pull up Fed fund features, that's looking at expectations for Fed hikes. So the Fed has been very successful with their, their commentary and their forward guidance because they've already removed the rates market. So right now I see 188 and a half basis points of additional hikes priced in just for 2022. So if you think about it, we have, you know, five, little over five months left in the year and the Fed has to hike 188 and a half basis points. And that's in addition to the 150 basis points that they've actually hiked just to meet expectations. So forward guidance has really already moved the hike expectations. So it's sort of, in my opinion, like it's kind of like a, a, a potentially good fade because if the Fed doesn't hike 188 additional basis points, that's what's already priced in.